Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs Review. Today we're going to be looking at the Call of Duty Crash Site Battle. Now, if you saw my haul video with all the Call of Duty, you'll know that I'm going through the Call of Duty sets that are currently on the market um, to try and review as many of the newest ones as possible before the line ends. So, we're going to be looking at this one. Now, this one, as I said in the haul, is a pretty special set because not only is it... Um, one of the last big like Call of Duty sets, but it's also the first big Call of Duty set we've had in a long time. So it's kind of the f uh, the first and last of its kind, which is really sad because Call of Duty used to do a lot of these structures, like in the Nuketown sets and all that, and it was really, really cool. I never got my hands on any, so I'm really looking forward to getting this open. But let's take a look at the box. Unfortunately, it is CG, unlike the old... Call of Duty box art, but I do like the way that they revamped the Black Series mixed with Call of Duty kind of logo. It's like charcoal smears almost. Then on the top, we get the same thing. Figures are on the top and the side and the other side. Wait, they're identical? No, they're not identical. Interesting. Okay, that's very cool. They kind of went the extra mile and had the figures in different poses. Around the back, we can see the building and the crash helicopter, our two figures, all of our accessories, and then some of the newer sets. I have both of these. I'll be reviewing them soon. I still need to get these two. And then it looks like this is one of those really nice hinge open kind of things, but there is tape, which means I'm going to need some scissors. My X-Acto knife got commandeered by one of my siblings, and I have yet to find them again. There's so many like different craft projects and whatnot going on in my house that it's hard to tell where the tools are going to end up. Okay, so oh, that's that never gets old. That's so just that's so smooth. Just goes from closed to open. Really, really gives the set a premium feel. So we have one unnumbered bag here. Oh, this has got all the figures and other special parts. Two unnumbered bags, more special parts. And then we have six, four, five. So four, five, six, um, seven. There's three, there's two, there's one. Okay, so it looks like we've got 10 bags in here. 10 bags and wow. These are some big instructions. Size we don't see often for Mega. And wow, they kind of went all out for this set. They printed the background and the instructions really nicely. Here's those other sets. There's the checklist. Helicopter windshield piece kind of surprised me. And then, oh, look, we kind of get to see. Wait, is that actual photos? No, it's not. <laughs> he He's riding it all the way down. Now he's getting out because his helicopter is ruined. And this guy is getting another missile in place. All right. Very nice. So let me go ahead and build this, and we will take a closer look. All right, everything is all put together, and let me tell you, this was not a fast build, and this was not an easy build, but it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of really, really interesting building techniques, some parts I've never seen before. So overall, it was a really, really cool experience just building this. Um, there were definitely a few hitches. The parts feel a lot harder to stick together, almost like older, like the older Call of Duty sets were. Um, and there's some weirdness, like the helicopter's stand is supposed to keep it tilted over to the side, but it doesn't. Also, there's a ton of extra pieces to the point that I'm worrying that I forgot something somewhere, which is kind of par for the course these days, but I don't know. It feels like too much. Um, you also get an extra scope thing that I think you can put the, this laser in. And I guess it's just an extra amount on the gun for this dude. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the figures, starting with our Juggernaut. 
So here is the Juggernaut, and he looks like a Juggernaut. Like, he is a big, beefy dude with a big, beefy gun. Now, I wasn't sold on the way that this was like a tube. For some reason, in my brain, this should have looked like an ammo feed. But I think the tube makes sense the more I think about it. And it's like rubber, so you can move it around. He has a backpack with some straps printed on it. It's built up pretty nicely. He just pegs into his back. Um, and then he's got his big gun, which I'm not sold on this design. I think it's a bit long. I don't know. It looks too long, too gappy in the center. I feel like there's probably a better way to do this. Like maybe this could have been solved by getting a brick with a stud on this side and that side so you could just attach the gun barrel directly to the brick here and then just have this handle on top i think that probably would have been the best option and leave out this whole middle section so like let me give you an idea of what i'm trying to say here just take this off this gatling gun barrel is epic by the way i have one uh, I got from a big lot and getting another one is great so this is kind of what I mean like just getting the handle attached to the brick kind of like that that I don't know that seems more appropriate in size to me maybe I'm wrong maybe the Call of Duty Gatling guns are actually just massive things but to me i don't know to me this looked a little weird especially because there's some gaps but it is still pretty cool it's a giant gun and that looks pretty cool he can hold it pretty well that wait did i hang on a second i think i put the handle on wrong i did whoops Uh, wait, no, I didn't. No, I'm second-guessing myself here. No, I was totally on track. So, yeah, that looks a little weird to me. Uh, but the rest of the figure is great. I really like the kind of olive tone. And I thought his visor was going to be kind of a gray-silver, but it's more of like a dark, shiny gray. His head does stick a little bit. Like, it's not as fluid of movement as I would like. But the print for the visor is done really well. I like the tan like pants pieces. These lower legs are great. And overall, he's just a really good looking figure. And it's been a long time since we got a proper Juggernaut, I think. So this is really great to get. And he comes with this really neat, if I can pick it up, bronze color stand. So, like, you know, posing him with the big gun, it's not too hard, but it can be iffy especially if you want him running so it's nice to have the stand and the barrel can spin so that's pretty cool overall really really nice figure i like how generic he is it can be anybody and who doesn't like gatling guns even if they are a little big and our second dude is this kind of mercenary looking guy he comes with one of those like laser spotter things for the missile, I guess. So this is his uh, laser guiding for the missile. Now I'm curious, is this laser the same piece as what goes in the Spartan lasers? That's what I want to know. It is! Look at that! So I can make my Spartan lasers shoot green. That's kind of cool. I don't think that ever happens in Halo. But uh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, he comes with a little flashlight laser pointer thingy. He also comes with this extra thing that also can peg the laser into. So I guess you could pop the scope off and then you get a laser sight on your gun. I guess that's what that's for. A lot of the other Call of Duty sets I've seen this piece come in slings it under the barrel, but that's not really an option here. So we're just going to assume it goes on top. And then the gun itself is like a gold like base and then dark gray pieces. Pretty standard looking gun. Now the figure, I was expecting to not really like this figure that much. I'm not a huge fan of these like small balaclava kind of heads. But I got him out of the package and the skull is silver. 
it looks white on the packaging. Like, let me... Look at that. That looks white. So I thought he was just going to be kind of standard white skull mercenary guy. But this silver looks so cool. The eye holes are just empty black, which make him look even more intimidating. He has kind of this darker skin tone with these tattoos or scars that remind me of, like, Killmonger's scars. His whole look is kind of a black ops look. He's got that dark metallic silver. I think this is the same silvery color that we see on the new um, Garrison Pack Marine. He's got a black pouch here. These rubber knee pad pieces, which if you don't position them correctly, they will inhibit the leg movement. And then a leg strap. And there was a flashbang grenade, which... Wait a minute. Was that supposed to go to... That was supposed to go to the, the Juggernaut. There was a lot going on in these instructions, so I kept missing things here and there. So, okay. So that makes our Juggernaut a little beefier. Very nice. Very nice. That looks great. Um, that makes this guy look a little less bulky, which is also good. And, yeah. I think he looks really good. I'm pleasantly surprised by this guy. Both figures, though, I had such a hard time getting the waists to peg into the torso. Like, that is one of the things Mega has not fixed yet, is how hard it is to get the things popped in. Um, same color stand. And yeah, overall, another great figure. I think this guy is an unnamed, just generic dude. So that's really cool for, like, setting up your own scenes. The only thing I'm worried about with this guy is, well, aside from the Call of Duty hands being fragile, is the silver. I'm hoping the silver does not rub over time. Um, but yeah, really great figure. Super surprised that there was silver print instead of white, but I think it looks fantastic. We have a couple little side builds here. We have a cart with a rocket on it. Got like little wheels and you can kind of position it around. You could turn the wheels if you wanted to. It's a bit of a fiddly build, but the end result is pretty nice. Looks pretty good. So you can have your, uh mercenary dude with his rocket like so and then we have this piece of like landscape with a flag on it i'm guessing this is so you could maybe do some capture the flag scenes or something maybe capture points but the flag looks really great i don't know what that symbol is uh other than that fact that it's a sword and some wings printed on only one side which is a bit of a bummer but it's a great little background set piece to have but we have a lot more to look at, so let's go ahead and put this aside. And here it is, the real reason why I bought this set, and I'm sure this is the reason why many people will buy this set, is the building. This is the first structure build we've had in such a long time from really any line that Mega's done. I mean, I guess Castle Grayskull is technically a structure but just like a little background set piece, this is the first we've had in a long time. And this one looks really nice. So the only complaint that I had like right off the bat is the scale, like the, the door looks a little low for the figures. It's not off exactly. It's just like very low and um, I guess tight. Let's see for a Halo figure. How does that look? Halo figures look perfectly right at home there. Actually, that looks fantastic. Um, and it's, it's suitably generic, like at Hotel Aeron, that's probably some sort of a Call of Duty thing, but look at that. Pop the sign off, whatever, put some extra pieces over the studs there, and you are good to go. So I'm really looking forward to having this in a bunch of background stuff. I'm even tempted to buy another one. We'll see if I end up doing that or not. This little AC unit was a fantastic detail. That's... That's absolutely great because this is all sandy colored, so it really looks like maybe a deserty area. So, of course, a hotel is going to want to have some air conditioning units. But clearly, nobody's going to be using this air conditioning for a while because this is kind of a destroyed building. Because, first of all, we have a missile coming down right now. Like, it's on this clear pole. You can position it around. There's fire coming out, which is an old piece that I didn't think they were using anymore, but apparently they are. But it's coming in, and there's going to be another big explosion to destroy the already destroyed hotel. We've got rubble kind of here at the bottom. Got a barrel on this side. Looks pretty nice from this angle. 
Um, it's not a complete building, but Mega leaned into that and made the edges all broken. So the building looks like it was bombed out and that the rest of the building is not supposed to be there. Now you could buy two of these and build one in reverse and kind of make it a square, which would look pretty cool, but they kind of solved their own problem and just made it look wrecked. So it's not going to look out of place, not being a full building. Got some interior space right here to pose a figure like that. And we have stairs. Look at this. Okay, so here's a huge complaint I have with Lego is that when they give us buildings, they almost never give us stairs from one level to another. Even I think Mega has done that in the past, but look at that. You have a really clear way to just walk up to the second floor and move around. That is absolutely great. I love that. And we have like a balcony kind of thing here so that this dude can poke his head out. Um, maybe this is his spot to uh, snipe at the juggernaut, which is great. There's another little window over here. And over here, you can pose a figure behind each one. And there's also space on the roof to put figures up there. So it's not a huge build, but it is really, really well utilized. Like all the space is really well done and the building techniques are really nice. I like all the arches and all that. It just looks really good. It is exactly what I was hoping it would be. And I can't wait to use this in the background of different photos. Um, and because again, you can just kind of fit it into whatever, like the halo figures look good there. Call of Duty figures look good. It's just really well done. And it makes me really sad that the Call of Duty line is ending because like Mega just started doing the really cool stuff again, like the set. And then now it's ending and we're not going to see any more. So that's a huge bummer because this is a absolutely fantastic build. That's not the last of the builds though. We have this crashed helicopter which i'm assuming this is supposed to be like a chinook helicopter seeing as the blade is positioned here i would imagine that the body would come out to like here and then there'd be another blade but i am not um your friendly neighborhood military hardware expert by any means so i could be totally wrong with that um now this is really cool for a couple reasons well first i need to talk about my complaint with this they have this stand and they tell you to like pop it on like this and then tip the helicopter and that does not work at all. You kind of have to position it more in the middle like that, which that works out great. Or maybe I was just putting it on wrong. I don't know. It's said to put it really close to the edge and that doesn't work. So put it in the middle and then you can have it crash. The blades, there's only three blades. They're all bent and broken. This one doesn't even have a tail. And there's a missile crashing into the helicopter like right now. And so there's all these explosion coming which is cool but it's also a little bit weird because i don't know it's an explosion that's kind of small but you can easily pop this on and off and have the explosion be there or have it not be there um you can spin the blade not like it's gonna really need to be spinning the blade because it's crashed i was really surprised at the way the front was built the building techniques are really really cool and it's like side building and all that this big windshield piece i have never seen that before i don't know if it's new or if i'm just not super familiar with it we have another symbol here again i don't know what this is but i'm sure somebody who knows call of duty can tell me in the comments then we have like a door here and you can see into the crashed helicopter very nicely so like you could do photos of like the helicopter like this and inside actually let me see if i can get in that close Okay, well, you can kind of see it. The light is making it difficult. But there are two printed consoles there, and they are printed with, like, cracks and breaks in them um, to make it look like it's actually crashed. And then you have, like, a little lever here, two seats, some space to pose figures. So we can put, like, the Juggernaut. If I can do this with one hand. Yeah, so we can put the Juggernaut there, maybe using the crash helicopter as cover. So another really great add-on like this helicopter can go in the background of so many different scenes and you can just do photos of the inside of the helicopter like looking at the window or whatever so super useful kind of sad that we won't really ever get to see a full version of this helicopter 
but this definitely makes me want to get my hands on the other small helicopter set that's available. And then there's a better look at the stand. It's all rocky. Looks pretty cool. You just have to position it correctly to actually have it work. Well, there you have it. That is the Call of Duty Crash Site Battle. Just, I, I'm blown away by the set, honestly. This is not at all... Well, okay, let me amend that. I was going to say it's not at all what I expected, but it is what I expected in all of the best ways. And now I wish I hadn't ignored this at first because I was like, eh, it's kind of all right. It's kind of plain. But the, the building looks great. It's so useful. The fact that we don't get structure builds very often makes it even better. The helicopter is basically a structure build because it's not a vehicle at this point. And it's great just throwing the background of a diorama or a photo the figures are really good they're generic and they can be used in a bunch of different situations they're they've got some great parts i was really surprised by the silver print on the mercenary looking guy that was really cool the flag is great all the printed pieces are just really really well done um the fact that we get a missile in flight a missile on the stand and a blowing up missile is pretty neat as well and the attention to detail with stuff like an AC unit. They could have easily just done that and left it off. And it would have been boring, but like it wouldn't have been surprising. But they went the extra mile. They made a little AC unit. They fixed the edges of the building so that it actually looks broken and it doesn't look like we just have a partial building. They just kind of pulled out all the stops for this set. And I'm really happy that they did because this is a great... If the Call, the Call of Duty line has to end, then it might as well go out with a bang. And this is definitely a bang of a set. So even if you're not a Call of Duty fan, I would highly recommend you pick up one of these. Because this building works great for Halo stuff. It looks like that new... Um, what was that? New Mombasa map in Halo Infinite. That's what it makes me think of. And... Um, you can just put Spartans on there, maybe buy a couple of these, set them up in the background for a diorama. Even the helicopter, I feel like, could be modded a little bit to make it look like some wreckage from Halo or something. So even if you're not a Call of Duty fan, this is a great, great set. Well, my camera battery died mid-recording. No surprise there. Probably need to just go ahead and buy an extra camera battery so I don't have to wait for it to recharge every time. Uh, but yeah, this is a great value of a set too. This is a $40 set. You get two figures, a building, the crash helicopter, and these extra parts. And it's, I mean, there's a lot of pieces here. If you want some diorama stuff, you know, you can take apart the hotel and you have plenty of pieces to work with. Um, the figures are great. The printing on the mercenary dude is great. So overall, this is just a really, really good set. And I, like I said, I would highly recommend, even if you're not a Call of Duty fan, pick one of these sets up. Uh, it's really useful regardless of what you want to fit it into. Also, I was wrong. That looks like old Mombasa, not new Mombasa. That's what we saw in Halo 3 ODST. Old Mombasa is the infinite map, I think. Hopefully, I'm not getting that even more messed up. But yeah, bottom line is, this is a great set. Highly recommend you pick one up before they're gone because I don't see any reason why you would regret it. It's just really, really good. And if you're not a fan of the Call of Duty figures, sell them off. I'm sure people would want to buy, especially the Juggernaut, because the Juggernaut is really cool looking. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.